So a whole program has been created to do chair chair yoga, yoga from a chair. Um, we get up and down a little bit, but you've got it for stability to, and you can work on balance as well as stretch every muscle in your body and not in a bad way, <laughs> not to where you get all twisty pretzely like you see some of the yoga instructors do, even though I can't get the twisty pretzely stuff done, but um, you've got the safety of a chair and it is amazing. So I would like to share that tonight because it's something that everybody can do from home. Yeah, that sounds great. I, and once again, I this little girl, look. <laughs> opportunity. Um, what I'd love to do, um, just because I know some folks will be coming in, yeah, like him. I'd love to throw it to you and give you the opportunity to kind of get things rolling if that works for you. Absolutely, I would love to. All right, let me make sure. Okay. I don't I'm not pinned, so sure. can y'all see my feet and see every bit of me here? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Well, how about just a little, I don't know if you, I'll turn it down so that you can hear my voice as much as possible, but I will um, play a little bit of Christmas music for our background. How's that? <laughs> We can work around it. Just get a chair from the table in the kitchen or in the dining room. Even a folding chair will work for what we're going to do this evening. And I want you to sit. I'll just turn it for sideways for a moment. About halfway in or one third of the chair seat covered. You want to set towards the front. We're going to work on posture a little bit as well. Oh, good. I need that for sure. Yes, we all do. We all do. So oh, I want you to no, sit in the chair. Don't lean against the back. And I want you to sit up nice and tall. And you're going to kind of pull your hips forward a little bit. So that makes you pull your navel in, your belly button in tight to your spine. That's how we kind of work on our, our core muscles as well. Sorry, I have a, <laughs> I have a photo of here. All right, so you're going to sit nice and tall. Roll your shoulders back and then drop them down. Just place your hands in your lap. And when you think you're sitting tall, I want you to sit even taller. It's like somebody's got a string and they're pulling it out from the top of your head. It's nice and tall. Pull that belly button in tight. And I just want you to do some deep breathing first. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill your lungs completely. And then exhale out through your mouth. You can see the rise and fall of my chest. Inhale up, in. Exhale out. We get to a point where we do really shallow breathing through our day, and that's really bad for our body. So doing some connected breathing, yoga-inspired breathing, really helps get oxygen to our brain and out to the tips of our fingers, down to our feet. Deep breath in. Exhale, you just kind of feel your shoulders fall as you exhale. Now, take your hands by your sides and I want you to inhale up overhead. All the way up if you can, raise up through your rib cage and then exhale. Let your shoulders fall, no tension held. Inhale up. Exhale it down. Let that air escape. One more time. Inhale up. Sitting nice and tall. Exhale. Very slow, controlled breathe breaths. Now, this time, I want you to inhale up. And as we exhale, let's twist just a little bit. Yeah, I'm twisting to my right. I don't know, Zoom switches it or not. And then inhale, center. And exhale, let's go the other direction. You're just going to turn in your waistline. Inhale to the center again. Exhale. We're slowly working on loosening up those lower back muscles. You want to look up your shoulder when you can. Inhale up again to the center. Exhale to the other side. We'll go over your shoulder. 
Inhale to the center. Let's do one more time on each side. Very slow movements. Inhale, center. And last half. Inhale, center. Now, let's drop this arm by your side and reach over. This is my left hand. You want to keep that left cheek, your bottom cheek, into your chair. Try not to reach over. You're going to keep it in your chair and just stretch through your obliques and your sides. Inhale up. Reach it up tall and exhale, drop to the other side. Oh, stretch it over. There you go. Just lift this arm. Inhale up. Let's go back to the opposite side. My right side. Reach it over. Left cheek is pressed into your chair. Inhale. Reach for the ceiling. Exhale, drop it down. My right arm is up by my ear. My right cheek is pressed into my chair. And one more time on each side. In yoga, we do everything in threes. There's power in the number three. Here we go. Inhale deep, up to center. Exhale, drop it down. My left arm's down, right arm is up. There we go. And inhale. Exhale, push the walls out, open your chest, and drop the arms down. Just kind of shake them out. Now, I want you to look over your right shoulder. Keep your chin parallel to the floor. Stretch those neck and upper shoulder muscles. We tend to keep a lot of stress in our neck. Inhale to the center, and look to your left. Chin is parallel to the floor. We're still sitting really tall in the chair. Inhale to the center. Now let's drop our chin to our chest. Exhale down. Inhale up. Now, once you drop your right ear to right shoulder. And inhale, neutral head. Exhale, drop the left ear to left shoulder. Inhale, neutral head, and then again, exhale, chin to chest. And inhale, neutral head. Good. Shake your hands out again. And then I want you to take a deep breath up, arms up overhead. And I want you to exhale and fold forward. We're going to stop about 45 degrees. And inhale, I want you to arch your, your shoulders and bring it all the way up. Exhale down again in a fluid motion. Inhale up. We're going to keep our chin above our heart at all times. One more time. Down, 45 degrees. Inhale, roll it back up. Nice job. I want you to cross that right leg over. If that's too much for you, and it's, or if your doctor says no crossing legs, you've got to get replaced and things like that, just cross your ankles. All right? And then you're going to take that opposite arm. I want you to turn. Grab the back of your chair and kind of give it a little tug. Give that leg a little tug. Look over your shoulder. A little deeper stretch for our lower muscles, those erectors and A muscles. One more breath. And inhale to the center. Great job. Now switch legs. Again, if it's not a good idea, you know your body, honor your body, do what you can do. If this is not a good idea, you just cross your ankles. And take a deep breath in, exhale, and turn it around. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall. Keep that belly button pulled in tight to your spine. Let's look over that back shoulder. Deep breaths, inhale, exhale. One more breath, ladies. Inhale. 
and exhale. Nice job. All right, we're going to take these feet nice and wide. Now, a lot of times I'll use a yoga block if you've got an old, I don't know if anybody even has those anymore, the big phone books, <laughs> or a box or something like that. If you want to do these on your own at home, it's nice to have a box. But I'll show you how to do it. We're going to work on these lower back muscles again. When we sit a lot or we drive a lot, these lower back muscles get really tight. And a lot of times that's the reason we have back pain is because these muscles are not strong enough. So we need to stretch them out and get them strong. And this is how, how we start doing it. So once you take that right hand and I want you to place it on the inside of your knee. Okay. We're going to take a deep breath in. And exhale, I want you to give me a little twist and drop it down about mid-calf. Lead back with that left shoulder and face the wall to your side. Inhale, let's bring it up. Now, let's exhale, go down a little bit further this time. See if you can almost touch your ankle. Inhale, bring it back up. Center. One more time. Can you touch your shoe? Or maybe even the floor? Place that hand on your hip this time. This is where that block or a box would come in really handy. A little step stool. Place it in between your feet. And we're going to come up. All right. Now, we're going to work on stretching our shoulders and our chest. We're going to go down again. Now, can you extend that left arm? Here's what it looks like from the floor. But you can have a box. You can put your elbow on that knee if you need to. All kinds of modifications available. And let's reach that arm up, stretch it to the ceiling. Look at your palm. And exhale it down. Inhale, roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Nice. Now let's go to the other side. Remember, keep those legs at least chair width apart. Hand on the inside of your knee. Deep breath in. Belly button tight. Exhale and rotate towards the wall. Pull your shoulder back. And inhale it up. Now, exhale down again. Let's go down a little further. Can you go mid-calf at the bottom of your calf? Nice job. Belly button tight. Keep breathing. Inhale up. One more time. Can you go down to your shoe? Take both hands, grab the chair behind you. All right, you can walk your feet in a little bit deep. We're gonna open our chest up. This is one thing our chest muscles, our pecs get really tight. We're gonna end up sitting like this throughout the day. You need to open them up, grab the back of your chair, and lean forward slightly. It's not the most comfortable position at first, but your body gets used to it. So you wanna squeeze your shoulder blades together in the back. Keep your head above your heart and sit nice and tall. Now, I want you to place your hands on your knees. We're gonna sit tall and take a deep breath in. As you exhale, I want you to hollow out your belly, sit on your tailbone, pull those shoulders forward, tuck your chin. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, back again. Inhale up, and one more time. 
and sit back. Keep that belly button tight. And inhale. Nice job. Roll your shoulders back for three, two, and one. Now, let's just work on standing up. Switch your back. I want you to try to take those arms up overhead and stand up. And then I want you to act like you're gonna sit down, but we're not gonna go all the way. Stick that booty back over your chair, hold it for two seconds, and then inhale up again. Reach for the ceiling. Open your rib cage. Exhale back. Nice. Inhale up again. And now this time, prayer hands in front. Hold it right here as we sit back towards that chair. Nice job. Inhale up. Exhale. Back down. Let's take it all the way. Let's move on back in just a moment. I want you to get on one side of your chair. If you don't have a chair like this, you can use a table or even the wall. And what we're going to do is we are going to balance. I want you to pull the leg up and by the chair. Opposite arm, straight up. Nice job. If you need to, you can put a toe on the floor or right against your shoe. You honor your body. I want you to keep your left knee, your stability knee, slightly bent. We don't ever want to walk. And if you feel comfortable, get that foot off the floor and see, see how long you can pull that arm up. That chair is always there, the wall, the table, whatever it is. If you need it, take a deep breath in. Let's see if we can breathe three times. Hold your balance. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more time. And exhale. Nice job. Grab your chair. And I want you to just slightly bend over. It doesn't have to go very far at all. But just bend over, flat footed, reach away, and bring it back. Nice job. Let's go to the other side of the chair. All right, here we go. Hips forward, navel tight. Arms up over your head. And let's bring that leg up. Ready? Can you balance? Deep breath in. Two more breaths in here. Very nice. One more. And exhale. Nice job. Keep that arm up. Grab your chair. And let's bend it over just a little bit. Stick that leg behind you. Point your toe. Keep your right knee slightly bent. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. That's fabulous. All right, let's go ahead. Have a seat in the chair again. We got just a couple more stretches. All right, so I want you to turn into your chair. Your front knee is gonna be perpendicular to the floor. And we've got knee over ankle on the side of your chair. We're gonna sit tall, make sure we don't have an arch back, pull those hips forward. Now, if your body allows you, I'd like you to walk that leg back just a little bit. We're gonna stretch that hip flexor. If not, you keep it right there. Gonna take that front arm out. Deep breath in. And I want you to exhale, reach past. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhale out, reach across. Inhale up. One more. Exhale out. And inhale to the center. Nice job. Bring that leg in. Bring it to the front. And let's switch sides. Grab the back of your chair. 
knee is at least perpendicular to the floor. If you can, walk it back a little bit more. Knee over ankle in front. Ready? Inhale. Exhale, reach the wall. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale out. Inhale. One more time, ladies. Exhale, reach it out. And inhale, center. Nice job. All right, bring that leg forward. Turn it to the front. We are in line, our knees are in line with our hips. We're going to inhale it up. Exhale, rotate to my right. Just follow me, whatever, whatever the picture looks like. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale. One. Inhale up. Drop that right arm down, left arm up and over. We got bookends. We're going to start. We're going to end with what we started. This should be just a little bit more flexible now after we've done some stretching. Inhale up. Exhale. Drop to the other side. Keep your elbow up by your ear. Reach across. Nice. Inhale up. Again, over to the right. Oh, reach the ear a little further this time. Roll your wrist very slowly. And slowly. Reach it over. Slow roll of the wrist. We're almost done. You did a great job. One more time on each side. Exhale, reach it over. You got shoulder problems by all means. Stay right here. We want to focus on stretching up the lean. Inhale up and over to the left. Reach. Okay. Inhale up. Now we're going to exhale. Pull forward about 45 degrees. Keep your chin up, head above your heart. Inhale, roll it up. You're going to arch through your shoulders. Exhale it back down. Inhale, roll it up. And one more. Down. Inhale up. Nice job. Now, if your body allows you, let's do one more deeper stretch. Place that ankle on top of your leg. If that doesn't work, you place it, cross your ankles on the floor. Absolutely. Lots of ways to make that happen. When I work with the hip and those hip flexors. Deep breath in, exhale forward just slightly. So here's what it looks like. If you need to cross your ankles, you just take it down. Keep your spine straight, your head raised, neck is elongated, and bring it back up. Switch legs. Again, cross the ankles, or you can bring it up. Whatever's best for you. Deep breath in, exhale. Let's take it no further than 45 degrees. Yeah, that kind of pinches the poles, huh? You got tight hamstrings. One more breath. And inhale, sit nice and tall. Release those legs. I want you to rock your feet from toe to heel. Toe and heel. Make it opposite. Rock them back and forth. Now, take the outline of that right shoe, just the outline of your sole, and make a circle on the floor with the sole of your shoe. Work, work in those ankles. And now reverse the direction. And let's go to the other foot. Roll it on the outside of your shoe. That sole, one direction, doesn't matter which way you go. 
And now let's reverse it. Go the other way. We got to keep those ankles strong. We're in the middle of winter and if more snow and ice comes. We want to make sure that we don't fall. Strong ankles helps. All right. Let's shake them out. All right. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale that right ear, right shoulder. Just drop your head over so we can stretch our neck. Inhale, knit your head. Exhale, let's go the other direction. Are we still sitting tall? We are now. Inhale, neutral head. Last one. Exhale, chin to chest. Just let your head fall. Keep breathing. And inhale, neutral head. Exhale. Give yourself a hand. Nice job. How good do you feel? Feel pretty good. Fabulous. I'm glad to hear that. So were you able to do everything? Feel a little bit more mm. flexible? Yeah. A little bit. A little bit? Hey, it, we're all a work in progress every day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> every day of my life so well I appreciate y'all very much joining me today <laughs> I know I'm a, a surprise sprung on you but I appreciate you joining me and and uh, humoring me for that as well so I hope you enjoyed it thank you Rhonda yes we really appreciate it we really do I I'm telling you this group of ladies they're dedicated and so uh this class you know part of the program was not mandatory this was just hey if you want to come and hang out do it and so i think that speaks volumes very impressive um to the group that we got but we appreciate you so much uh, got, uh ladies if it works for you i've got the session recorded i'd love to share it so that way if you guys want to refer back to it um throughout the week or throughout the break if you'd like to do that as well um i think that's great but we really do appreciate your time and uh we wish absolutely you